Hey guys, uh, Rival Big D and Rival Blade here, and we're going to be talking about some of the TV shows that we watched as a kid. Yeah, that's right, and um, some TV shows we actually, well, I actually watched as a kid was uh, The Simpsons. That was always a favorite one for me. Mm -hmm. And there was, you know, when I was really little, I used to watch like Barney and, uh, well, not really, actually, I used to barely watch Barney. I used to watch um, Toopy and Beano. That was always like a favorite show of mine when I was little, up until like I was uh, like eight. Okay. And then and then the Simpsons came, like rolled along for me, and so did Family Guy and American Dad. Eventually started uh, like a few years, like four years ago, actually, like when I was when I was a bit younger. Oh. So uh, yeah, that's that's like basically my shows I watch. Yeah, I'm um, like when I was like very young. Obviously, I watched Blue's Clues. Yeah, that's another one I also watched. Blue's Clues is a good one. Yeah, and um, you know, uh, the the guy that played Steve, his name is Steve Burns. And if you look at him now, he looks weird. Like, he doesn't look anything like his, like, like his old self. Really? Yeah. Oh. I, like, there's like uh, he has, like, less hair than he did. Um, he looks more serious and looks like he's, he's seen some things. Well... He's pro he's obviously aged, so you should expect that by now. I guess so. But before his face uh was like an upside down pear, like <laughs> <What>? <laughs> like it had he had like a triangle chin, but now it's like rounder. It's weird. Oh. <laughs> okay. So uh, what other shows did you watch? For like a little bit, I watched like The Simpsons, as well as Family Guy, even though I didn't get the humor. Yeah, I know, because when we were little, we didn't get all those uh, puns we do now. Yeah, but it was still fun to see all of those characters moving around. <laughs> yeah, that was like the... Uh, and also, the um, the Simpsons, like, back in the day, like, not back in the day, but, but like, the more um, recent uh, Simpsons episodes, there aren't as enjoyable as, like, a few from a few years ago, because right now it's just about making money. Like yeah. A few, like a few weeks ago, they put on um, they put on a Simpsons entirely made of Lego, and I think they just did that because they're get they probably got money or sponsored from Lego to so they could do a video to advertise their uh, you know their, their movie. And stuff. Yeah, it's like advertise their movie or advertise like the Lego product. And that's oh. why I think they did that, and I think it's really annoying, because, it was just a terrible episode. Like even though it had a storyline, it was just a terrible episode. How they put it all together. And I just think they got in lazy, you know, because all they care about is money. Yeah, yeah. See, it's not the case with, like, The Simpsons. It's, like, not the case with Family Guy and, like, American Dad. Those are still, like, you know, they're running for, like, quite a bit of time, like, ten years plus. But Simpsons has been, like, longest animated uh, cartoon show. So that's been uh, over 30 years, well, 30 seasons by now. Yeah, yeah. Like... Like, they did kind of do a good job in terms of animating, especially for, like, a little TV show. But, as 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 you said, um, nothing was really good. Like, the storyline was eh. And there's even a cameo of um, of the two main characters from the, uh, the Lego movie in there. So, obviously, it is a sponsor. Where did you hear it? Um, well, I, it's just a sort of inferencing because... Um, Lego, they, they obviously, like, make a lot of products and stuff like that, you know, you know, the Lego movie, they make all their Lego kits and stuff for the little kids and all that, and I think just The Simpsons was a good way to target the, um, like, older viewers or, and the younger viewers, like, combined, uh -huh. and it was just a good way through the show, because, like, a lot of things are subtle like that, like, just using Lego as, a uh, as in one, in one episode, like, that could get the consumer, you know, like, I want to buy Lego, you know, I want to make the Simpsons, uh, re like, reenact the Simpsons Lego, uh, episode when, like, Homer buys the Legos or whatever it was. Yeah, yeah. Like, it would make but, them want to buy the product more, but I think, just, they just think they've gotten lazy because that's not how they should do it because they're a good, they have a good reputation, and I think they just blew it with that sort of, uh, style they, they're doing. yeah. Uh, I do agree that they were lazy, but uh, for some reason, I'm looking up uh, online, and this episode has been in development uh, for two years, and that's right around uh, when the Lego movie uh, was being made. 
Yeah, because they have to do all the, like, uh, you know... Yeah, the script, and then uh, they had to make the set. Yeah, they had to like, take pictures of each Lego thing and move it around and all that. Yeah. But still, that's just a bad way of, like, presenting... That's just a bad way of portraying your, um, your, like, your TV uh, series, because it was just... They had a good reputation basically up until, not that episode, but up until like a few seasons ago. They just started getting lazy. I yeah. Think, I think that's the problem because then less viewers start watching it. And all they care about is making money right now. Yeah, like, yeah. Unlike Family Guy and American Dad, those are still a bit, a bit fresh. You know, they still, yeah. they're still still coming up with new ideas. Yeah. Um, Just like changing gears for a second. Um, did you watch Barney as a kid? Cause I, I, did. I rarely watched Barney. Basically, I would watch. Uh, my mom apparently told me that I wasn't a big a big fan of Barney. I was more of Toopy and Beanu, because you know. Uh, yeah, with, uh, I love Toopy like, and the the mouse and the uh, whatever that like that like miniature rabbit or whatever that was a stuffed rabbit, and he had that. Uh, they always went on adventures and all that stuff. Yeah. That was like that was actually my favorite up until I was like eight years old. Mm -hmm. I still watched it like eight years old. Oh, and also another very important um, one was SpongeBob. That was oh that was, Sp yeah. Honestly, that was like one of my favorites as a kid, other than Toopy and Beanu. Yeah, for me, it was the show. Yeah, I know. Technique, technique. <laughs> that was. <laughs> that was that the first episode ever? Um, I'm actually not sure because I never, I don't really like look up that stuff, but. Mm -hmm. Um, but that was a really old one, but, uh, you could tell by just the animations from then and now, it's, uh, you could tell, you could totally tell, like, the difference of animation style they put in. Um, yeah. Like, now it's obviously more HD because they're, uh, you know, evolving with the, uh, new TVs, like, Five Internet and stuff like that, you know, more HD. Yeah, yeah. They're just, uh, making it better quality, but, uh, SpongeBob, I would say is a really, um... You know, like, not old show, but it was a really, uh, sh show I really used to watch a lot when I was a kid. And, yeah. uh, I still, I still actually don't really watch it now, but I still watch it occasionally, you know, for fun. Because they still, yeah. have new they have a lot of new episodes, because I skipped, like, years and years of episodes, because I stopped watching it. And, uh, uh, and I just, like, got back on track with a few episodes, and I just occasionally watch it now. Yeah, Spongebob has been, like, a very big part in my childhood. <laughs> yeah, it was, like... All of those uh, characters like, um, you know, Mr. Krabs and Plankton and Spongebob and Patrick and Sandy, Squidward. Yeah. Oh, and also, I'm not, did you hear that Spongebob, all the characters are based off the Seven Deadly Sins? Huh? Yeah, that's actually a thing. Like, I'll give you an example. So, Plankton, he's based off of Envy because he, he always wanted uh, business like Mr. Krabs. Patrick is uh, gluttony because all he does is eat and sleep. Uh, um, I forget what SpongeBob is, but it's uh, something really that he needs the he needs the likeness of from everyone, and uh, he needs everyone to like him, and no one could be mad at him or something like that. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Basically, Sloth Patrick, yeah, Wrath Sloth. of Squidward, Greed of Mr. Krabs, yeah, Envy Plankton, Gluttony Gary, Oh Gary, Pride. okay. Yeah, Pride, Sandy, and Lust, Spongebob. Yeah, well, that's actually a really cool thing, because, you know, you wouldn't expect as a kid, you know, uh, one of your favorite TV shows is based off of a, you know, religious uh, sort of thing like that, or like yeah. something like as eerie and as creepy as that. You wouldn't, yeah. I, don't think, I don't think you would expect a lot like that, because I definitely didn't expect that until uh, I heard it actually like a few months ago. Yeah, it's a very friend. cool lookout. It's a very cool outlook on the uh, on the on SpongeBob. One of like the most innocent characters. I know. Like I would think, you know, SpongeBob always has like happy, cheery thing. He always likes he always likes to hang out with everybody. Even Squidward is like his enemy. He still like wants to befriend him. I, yeah, I wouldn't yeah. think I wouldn't even think twice about something like that. But um, it just shows. It just goes to show that um, something like that. You know, you never know. What could uh, what they could base a story off of or they, a TV show off of, like yeah. and I'm pretty a lot of people have heard about this, but Matt Groening when he created The Simpsons, he based it he based it off of his own family, like his dad, it was Homer, 
Um, you know, the his his mom is his is the is Marge. I think he based it off of his whole family. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I never knew that. Yeah. Well, that's that's just like uh, sort of the things we've watched when we were uh, like little kids and stuff, and even now we still watch it. And it's getting to the end of the gameplay here, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. And uh, you know, check out check out our next video when it comes out, and uh, leave a like and subscribe if you like the video. And we'll see you guys next episode. Bye.